First thing to do, even before we get into some of the real specific like tactics and things to do, is understand from a philosophical or concept is you need to believe. First, you need to believe. In order to do some, any type of leadership, you need to have a believe in something bigger. Because if you don't believe, if you don't believe in what you're trying to accomplish or achieve, then no one else will. How can you lead if you don't believe in what you're leading towards? And sometimes it's hard because sometimes maybe you're part of a bigger organization or part of another part of the organization and you believe maybe strongly in certain things but the organization might not exactly match up with you. That's fine. It rarely will things exactly match up but you need to believe in what you're looking to do and then tie that as much as you can uh, into the company or organization's vision, mission, goals, whatever it might be. And I say company, it could be an organization, it could be a nonprofit, it could be a community, city, government, it could be any Thing where you're trying to rally a group of people to uh, you know achieve some great things and you want to link what your beliefs are and what you're trying to do to these company organization community type goals because the more you can link them the more people will buy into it because they see not only do you believe in this but you also believe in the overall arching bigger vision too so anytime you can tie into that is real key and real important but first you have to believe because if you believe then you're gonna bring some extra value and you'll be able to leverage that value you're gonna bring the value of confidence you know people are gonna see that you're confident in where they're headed. The road might be tough. It might be full of obstacles and challenges, but they see you being confident and that you believe. So if you believe, then they can believe. They'll also trust you. People don't trust folks that don't believe in what they're doing. And you can see through that. You've seen that, right? Where maybe you've worked with a manager and you just know, like, they don't believe in what they're even saying, right? Have you ever experienced that? So that's so important for leadership. It's so important for you, especially if you're leading and you're not the formal boss or leader. But either way, you have to bring that trust. And by believing, people will trust you because if you trust yourself, you trust in the direction you're headed, well, then they're going to trust you as well. And then also the value that your project or your task or whatever it is you're working on, that it matters, that it really, really matters. And you've got to be passionate about it. It doesn't mean you have to be crazy, wild-eyed or anything like that. It's just that people would look at you and say, yeah, we're not sure how we're going to get there, but we know this person's going to help us. We know they're in our corner and that they believe, and they believe in the task or project. It's just not some busy work that we're doing. This is something that's really important to do. You know, so the more important something is, the, you know, the stronger your leadership is going to be around it. And then really talk a lot about the final outcome and how it will benefit people. It's more about, sometimes we get focused on the task, like if we do this, then we've accomplished our task and we can move on to the next one. If you're always thinking about from a leadership standpoint about, yeah, once we do this task, and then how will it benefit people? How will it make their lives easier or better? How might it save the organization money or save people or the organization time or maybe generate more money or generate revenue? Whatever it might be, what is the final outcome and who is gonna benefit from that? So if you believe, if you believe in that final outcome and you can really get people to understand the final outcome, well, you're gonna be way, well on your way to being a very, very successful leader. So first thing to do is believe. And you might not believe totally, by the way. It's okay, it's a, it's a, you know, it's a really jumbled, mixed up mess out there in the world for sure, right? Um, but whatever it is you're gonna start moving towards, you need to believe that when you get there, you're gonna reach this ultimate goal and you're gonna bring the confidence, you're gonna bring the trust, your people are gonna rally around you because you know the project, their task or whatever you're working on matters and they're gonna to gravitate towards that. And if they ultimately see that you believe in how you're gonna help folks and then they can then time to that and help others, heck, you're gonna be doing very, very well and you're gonna make a big difference in the lives of others and in your own life as well.